Hi everyone, I reactivated my subscription for Confetti Collection. I am super excited to get this collection going again and seeing what's inside. So I hope that you keep watching and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. I am always so happy to see you and I am so appreciative that you take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. To my loyal viewers, my subscribers, you mean the world to me. I cannot begin to thank you enough. Um, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly do mean that. I could not do these videos without you. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that button over there. I would love to have you come back and watch some future videos. Join us in some conversation and just uh, join our little YouTube family. It's so much fun and, and I would be glad to welcome you to my channel. So anyway, today I am doing a confetti collection box and I have not done this. It's been a year since I did this collection. And I used to love, love, love this collection. It was so much fun. Just got so many beautiful paper products. And, and um, I mean, I used the, the paper plates and the cups and the napkins. And it was just a really fun subscription. And colorful folders and things that I used at home and at the office. And then, um, you know, I, was, I just was really enjoying it. And then, I don't know what happened. Uh, last October, I just, I just thought the box was just not worth it. Um, um, you know where all the boxes were doing really nice Halloween or fall themes and where before everything in their box was so coordinated and so much fun and I opened up my box and it was like spring things and summer things and nothing matched and, and everything before was coordinated and it just kind of really threw me and so I canceled my subscription and I was so disappointed because when I saw everyone open the December box, it was like the best box I have ever seen in my whole life. And so I've been kind of kicking myself the whole time that I canceled this subscription and that I just didn't say, oh, well, it's a bad box, just get over it, Nancy. But anyway, I went to sign up a few months ago and they were not taking new subscriptions, but I tried it again last week or a couple of days ago and, uh, and they reactivated my account. I thought maybe there would be a waiting list and I would just get the next one in December, which is what I was really hoping for. But they did have some of the October ones left. So I pretty much know what's in this because I've seen a few unboxings, but I'm excited to get into it and share it with you. And for Confetti Collections, I'll leave the uh, website below. It is $19.99 and it is a bi-monthly box. So you get it every two months. Um, it's a they tell you it's a $50 value you would get like eight or sometimes a little bit more items could be stationary stationary could be novelties paper goods just some kind of coordinated funness yeah. so anyway they have had some really good boxes the past couple of months so I am excited this one is wicked wicked heavy I wonder if there's a weight on the back of this uh, probably not that I can see but trust me it's heavy Alrighty, so let's open it. And they always package it so well. I remember one last year, they delivered to the wrong house, FedEx, and um, it was pouring rain. And of course, I thought my box was lost because it said it was delivered, and I thought someone stole it. And of course, my neighbors had gone away because it was like Columbus Day weekend. Well, even though no one celebrates it out here, yeah, I don't get that. Uh, but anyway, they had gone away for the weekend. It was out in the rain all weekend long. Um, when they came back on Tuesday, they brought it over to my house and everything in the box was intact. The box was ruined, but it's packaged so well that it stood the test of time. So, here's my box. We got some bubble wrap. We got all kinds of little confetti squiggles. Some of them are shiny, so you can reuse as gifts. And then the uh, pretty pink packaging, which sometimes this is just really, really little. Sorry to make that grunt noise, but it, like I said, it's heavy. So this month it is really big. Got the sticker that says Confetti Collections, and then this pretty purple, pink wrapping paper. And, and this is what we have: this nice big bundle. And it says Family Tree. 
So this is the one that I've been seeing people unbox and thought maybe it might get me going again on my family tree. And I wish I had started it sooner. And and other than that, I wish I had kept up with it. And when the software was obsolete and I got new windows, I should have I should have kept upgrading, but I didn't. So now I don't know how to add on to that. And I don't want to lose what I have. Okay, so this is the uh, family tree. Explore and document your family tree with a guided genealogy journal, file folders, and document folios. Have fun creating. And it tells you about sharing with Pretty sorry about that. I was in the middle of taping and I think I put some papers down on my pause button and didn't realize it and I was just going on and on and on and yeah, so I, I put a good part of this over. So I think where, where it ended up when I put stuff down on my keyboard was I was showing you uh, this card that was with the confetti box collection. So I've already opened everything, but I tried to put it back to make it look nice again. So it came in this nice bundle. It was wrapped in pink paper. And it's a really, really nice collection. So let's try to do this again, and I will try not to put anything down on my keyboard. Alrighty, so this first item is a little portfolio that you can use for journaling. You can just use as a grocery list, whatever you want to do it for. It feels like a nice, nice leather. It's probably a vegan leather though. It does have this little strap here so that if you do put it in your purse or a briefcase or something, it's not going to open up and get all messy. And again, this one is just some lined papers. And again, just a nice little booklet here with this elastic to keep it nice and safe. Next we have this address book. And I remember my mom always, every Christmas she would take out her address book to do her Christmas cards. And you know, I did the same thing. Years ago, I mean, I used to, yeah, do Christmas cards. I, I don't do so much anymore. I just, you know, just on a one income, just kind of got hard to kind of keep up with it. But anyway, it's a really nice address book and telephone book. Of course, most cases now we have our cell phones, our mobile phones, that has everybody in it. But again, it's a, you know, you can use this to put in like your passwords for, you know, your stupid Wi-Fi. When the Wi-Fi goes out everywhere and you have to reset it, yeah, it's a pain. Or, or whatever, you, you know, um, different stores that you have, logins and passwords. Or if you wanted to put people, people in there, like what their birthdays are. Any gifts that maybe that you're thinking of, just some quick reference things. If you need to maybe write down like your bank account and things like that to let people know if you know when you're not here anymore. Uh, and then we got these nice folder file folders. Just some beautiful. Look at this beautiful color. And they're always a really really nice quality. Like you know at work we always get you know the box of 500 or whatever. Yeah, I like to bring on my own things on my desk. I like to look pretty. So we got a couple of different styles. This one, I just love the colors on this. And then this one's a nice one with the geometric shapes. And then this one too, just really, really pretty. So we got six file folders, two of each. So that was really pretty. I'm loving those. And again, they're a nice high quality. It's not wax coated, but there is some kind of coating on it that makes them last a little bit longer than your normal file folders if you're in and out of them all the time like I am. Then we've got three envelope file folders. So, um, you know, it's got this little string here to close it, whether you wanted to put things in, you, in like an envelope so it keeps it from um, spilling out like your file folders if you just leave it open on your desk if you wanted to put private things in here that you didn't want falling out you could always do that or coupons or pictures that you wanted to put in a book later this is the same style that it's in front and then this one is like a long style so just really cute I'm sure I'll find some use for those and next yeah this is where I started to go off tangent so it's like this uh, and I guess I'm sure it's it's a nice hardbound notepad you got the little clipboard right here. 
and as I turn it to the colors, it's, it's red, but it keeps going back and forth between like an orange and a rust. And on the inside, you've got this uh, pad of paper. I'm sure it's just a regular paper that you can replace with any office store paper that you get. But this would come in handy when you go to meetings. Did I ever tell you that I hate meetings? Yeah, so this would be nice to take to the meeting where, especially because we're in this conference room and we're all trying to stay, you know, six feet apart and, you know, if we're talking, we have to take, take a mask off, well, you know how that goes. But anyway, this is really going to come in handy too if you wanted to put like the topics that you wanted to go over at the meeting so you don't get off topic because you know how I can get off topic quick so I can jot down a quick notes of what we're supposed to discuss at the meeting so we can move a little bit quicker. Plus, on most meetings, even though when we all go into the meeting, there's phones ring at everybody else's desk. Yeah, but they don't answer it. So I have to keep going on to the meeting to answer the phone and write down people's messages. And yeah, that irks me. So anyway, I could always write that there too, right there. So it's in, in place. And then whatever we discuss in the meeting there, I can write in here and then later put it in my computer so it looks nice because yeah I, I have sloppy penmanship but yeah this is really a uh, nice for work I think I'm gonna enjoy that and then this last one brings back so many memories so this is uh, to help you with my family tree do I have that upside down I do for the guided genealogy journal so this it's just a really nice way to start if you haven't started and uh, just talking to people just really really pretty and it just uh, kind of put in some memories and share things so it's a place to start it the premise about your family you can add photographs uh, put in traditions and your memories uh, any relatives that were in the news you can write that down relatives that were in the service uh, places where people lived, important dates, and it just kind of gives you a really nice format. So, you know, I think this is, this is good. You know, whether, you know, I probably wouldn't write in this one because, you know, I did start one and I, I kind of want to get back onto it someday. But, you know, if one of my girls want this to maybe start their family tree uh, and start adding things, you know, it would be good or anyone else that is going to do it but I just thought maybe this would motivate me because I started working on my family tree a while ago and it was something I did every night religiously because I was afraid to fall asleep and um yeah so I would sit in an office chair by my husband's bed and I would just uh, have my laptop open and I would work on my family tree and and here it is this is my family tree. It's over 500 pages. And I, it goes back about 26 generations. So, yeah. And this is what I did every every night for hours. Hours on end instead of sleeping. Really had a lot of fun doing it. And, you know, tried to, you know, pick my mother's brains. Because she was like, you know, the last one of her generation. Um, so when I started working on this, I would ask her a lot of questions. And try to write down names and of people that I missed so that I could look them up and see what I could find on them. And I, I got a lot of information that way, but I just wish I had started sooner, um, kept up with it, because of course you, you do software and of course then you get, have to get different updates. And then as Windows, your laptop dies and you have to get another one and Windows updates and then what you have doesn't work. So yeah, I don't know how, how to fix it. But anyway, so I did this one. So it's got all different things in it. So I did this one, this book, and printed it like I was printing it for my daughter Sabrina. Because this way it picked up, um, say if I just did it for me, it would only pick up my, my side of the family. And, you know, like my mom, my dad, and go that way. But with Sabrina, because I had put in things from my husband's family, his side of the family, it brought both of them together. So, um, yeah, and then with my sisters, if, I mean, if I could get that software working, they could take their their daughters or their sons and be, and add on from there to print what's relevant to them. But anyway, I think I had Family Maker 10 or something and that's long gone, so. 
maybe one day I will go downstairs and hold up that software and somebody knows a fix for that so that I can get working on that again. But anyway, that is, see, see how easy it is for me to get off tangent? But that was my confetti box and I am really looking forward to the next one. Um, I think this box was really great. It's really got some nice things in it that I, I can find a use for everything in here. And again, this one is like every two months. It's bi-monthly. It's $19.99 a month. I th there may be maybe some shipping charges, but it's not that much if there is. And um, yeah, so it's just really fun. I'll leave the uh, website below. So if you wanted to go on and check it out, and it was voted, I think in 2019, uh, one of the best subscription boxes. It might have, I think I saw one before that said best subscription box under $25, but the last thing I saw on the website didn't mention anything about money. But yeah, so I'm, I'm going, going to enjoy this and hopefully I'll stick with it because last time when, you know, and sometimes that's how it is. You, you get kind of, you know, with a subscription box and you stop it and then the next one is the best one ever. Yeah, I remember last December's, I was kicking myself in the uh, you know what because that was a good box. But anyway, I want to thank everyone for joining me. I love chatting with you every night. And um, yeah, we'll chat again soon. I hope everyone goes out and has a remarkable Friday, something worthy of putting in your family tree. And uh, we will chat soon. Bye-bye. Oh, don't forget to give me a thumbs, thumbs up.